Okay, day 18 in Idaho. Is it Idaho or Udaho? <laughs> um, so I'm at Buffalo Campground. It's right on the trail. Uh, yesterday was bad. The mud got so bad. Uh, it took one of my brake pads out. The front one specifically. Let's see. So I didn't know this. The pad is magnetized. There it is. Okay, see that big gap? It's not supposed to be there. Mm -hmm. uh, the mud yesterday got in between the pad and the magnet. And then, I don't know at what point it fell out, but it fell out. I talked to a guy today um, that said, uh, like, the rotor, this part, he asked me when it's been changed. I said, never to my knowledge. And the bike is, I don't know, like seven years old, eight years old. So he said, that's probably worn, which probably caused a lot of gap between the rotor and the pad and then the mud. And, and so like, yeah, the front brake, nothing. Uh, the back brake, it, it's got a little bit, but that's going too. So, the guy from Australia, him and his buddy, they said uh, they think it's the rotors and the pads. So, I've been calling around, trying to find, oh, sorry, uh, trying to find a place to get the work done. But I'm just north of, like, Coulter Bay. Um, Island Park is where I'm at, specifically. But, like, this Yellowstone, Teton area. It's so touristy, like, there's no bike shops. It's funny because, like, they have mountain bike rentals, uh, but they don't carry any parts. And I said, like, where do you guys go to fix it? Well, we have our own in-shop repair, but you can't utilize that. So I start calling around businesses asking, like, hey, can I deliver Amazon parts to you? You know, I'm going to be in the area for a few days. No, that's a liability if somebody steals it off our property, you know. I said, look, <laughs> um, I'm the closest bike, bicycle shop, well, on route. I don't want to de- like, There's bicycle, bicycle shops that are like 20 miles one way, 25 miles one way. And on a bicycle, I don't want to add 50 miles. So I'm trying to find a long route. The closest bicycle shop is in Pinedale, Wyoming, 230 miles from here. So I called them today and I said, what do you guys recommend? And they're like, man, they like try post offices. And I said, I did, I called them, nobody's answering. Like it's a holiday, um, maybe Father's Day yesterday. Was it Father's Day and Juneteenth yesterday? So I don't know. Um, so the bike shop said, yeah, this sounds like we're going to have to order parts. Um, so I said, hey, man, just go ahead and order it. I'll, I'll figure out how to get there safely, you know. And he's like, dude, you're in a bad situation. Like, you're going to ride 234 miles with barely a rear brake? I said, yeah, I'll just I'll take my time. You know, I'm not, I'm not racing, so... So I sent him some pictures of the brakes and he's going to get it on order. Um, Andrew at Geared Up Bicyclery. Um, but yeah, other than that, I stopped early today. I only did 36 miles because the headwind, it just is so aggravating. Um, and I've been at this campsite before. I didn't I, I didn't stock up at the at the grocery store. I thought I had two dinners, like those uh, dehydrated meals. And I ate the last one this morning. And so uh, I'm gonna stay here, go across the street, get dinner, and then uh, get on the road tomorrow and well, uh, 
It'll be a few days before I hit that store. He didn't respond. I hope I got the right number after I sent him the pictures of what brakes to order. So. All right, Matt. Yeah, this is a cool campsite, Buffalo Campground, um, off Highway 20 in Idaho. It's, I don't think I'm gonna have a fire. You know, it's, I feel raindrops already. You know, another reason I tried, I stopped. Um, but yeah, 20 bucks a night. If more bikers show up, then I can have four bikers here so that we can split the cost. But I don't foresee that happening. So, yeah, all right, 18 and a half days to, or I guess 18, 17 and a half to get out of Montana, but yeah, all right, keep you posted.